Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia the Dark Descent. When we last left off, we were being chased by that... Oh, stay out of the water. Stay out of the water, you say? Well, that's what Jack's... Never mind. No, he won't go there. No one else will understand what I'm talking about. Okay, just run for it. <laughs> I'm crying, I could literally sob. Oh, that's so f unfair. I knew it was timed, I should have just gone with my... Yeah, you know what, let's just run. We don't care about you, Mr. Scary Monster, dude. You're no longer scare us, what's the worst you could do? We can, like, restart a bit? Yeah, I don't think so. Restart the beginning of the passage where I can just quickly get in here. It actually probably would have been faster. Okay, jump, 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 jump up. Okay, run. Yeah, just keep on walking. Nothing bad can happen. Oh, what? There's another one! Eat! Whatever that is! Torso! Hey, it does eat torso. That's kind of creepy. Let's save it. Om nom 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 torso. We'll save this arm. Yeah, arm for later. That is so convenient, we have a flesh-eating monster. And plenty of flesh. Never before in a video game have I actually seen something like that. Who'd have thunk it? Go that way! What? No! Go back and eat stuff. Yeah, yeah, I figured that out. Okay? Wait, maybe we need to wait for the monster to go om nom. Om nom on the dead arm. Oh yeah, not back at the beginning. Oh, thank goodness for that. Go om nom, you stupid beast. Foul creature. actually really awkward. To the door, my friends!
Are we safe? Ah, oh, what? Don't tell me I left it open. I left it open. Ah, let's get out of these stupid achieves. Letter, letter, I want the letter! Or whatever that is. Hollow needle? Cool. Probably was a good thing I did that. Side. Shall we? Yeah, you know I'm here. Oh, you know it. Okay. Back away from the crazy monster. Nope, nothing there. Okay, through the door. Ah, fine. Okay, so apparently we did need that. Yep, that was hard. Whoa, my brain is honestly taxed. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself against the surface. Help, he cried as the ocean swallowed him himself again. <sighs> Let's not try to read that fast. Oh, what? Oh, no water? Is this water? Okay, run away. Okay, the music is telling me to run. Run for the hills or something like that. If I had my helmet, I could defeat him. Hey, this isn't fair, I'm on land. Can't touch this. Should've just kept it going. Okay. Nothing to see here. Loading screen! He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. Lackwood hull of the SS Horrington, glistening the soothing warm yellow light of the setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean, reaching towards the coast of Portugal, and thought, Is this another dream? That was an adrenaline rush and a half. Yeah, let's see what you think of that, Mr. Scary Monster Beast of Doom, eating flesh stuff. Let's go that way. Actually, what's here? Is it a health station? Hey, that's kind of cool. Let's play in the water. Yeah, what do you think of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My goodness, this game is making me more and more random. Oh, bugs, darn it. Storage now. Let's go up here. Just explore for a moment. We don't need to fight any more monsters for a little while. We've had our share guest room. Study. Let's go in the study. He climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. Loading screens are like safe zones to happiness and happiness and fuzzy feelings of love and joy. I'm actually quite pleased that I haven't got horribly stuck on any of the puzzles yet. If I do, I can use my super magic teleportation abilities. Yeah, so apparently whatever happened to, like, light, you know? Cool. What 
one stat. So much detail in this game. Love it. Antique bars. Mm. I would never do that in real life. But it's kind of fun here. Mainly because I've just been chased by a monster for the past 10 minutes. However long it's been. And. No, it'd be more than 10 minutes. 15 now. Yeah. And I'm really quite feeling like destroying everything I see. So if you'll excuse me. Looks like I'm also going to be... Oh no. All is good. All is good. Yeah, just turn on the lights away, don't you? Oh, I have to... It's a reading one. Okay. To my most, most trusted student and friend, John Wire. We are. The most remarkable thing happened as I was travelling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last twenty odd years. It is inex inexplicable as it is as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Con Cla uh, Classus. It was as uh, sorry, it was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly art unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fit my cupped hand and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its colour washed while well rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was, in, it was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Outstand, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is one of the most important discoveries of my life, but it has also become one of my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It was banging loudly as it closed in. The beast, discarding the orb, was relentless in pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn, warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I t continued to es my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a shimmering blue light engulfed me and the colours of the forest were washed before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as the pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This must certainly sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to the grassy fields outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still to, until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the hollowing cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke you told me about your interest in ongoing the myth research into the Mithric orbs, and I realised I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstons. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Cool. Oh no, it's dogs. And there's windows. Oh. Hey, is that a window or a portal into another dimension? Let's forget that idea. It's ever even mentioned. We're being down here, we're being down there. Spider webs, bad things. This looks freakily like Resident Evil. Please, dogs. Please, dogs. I mean, please, no dogs. Not please, dogs. Oh, happy. Oh, no! It's a dog! They knew that... Not happy, Jan. Not happy. Uh, I don't think we have time to go any further because I'm... Oh, what well, is another one! Okay. Oh, the... Okay, let's just look at the floor. Um, I hope you enjoyed this part, and on this woody note, we'll end this part. I hope you enjoyed it, oh, I said that before, and I'll see you back shortly.